Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back in American Truck Simulator, and we are going to be starting up a brand new series on a, basically, a whole new map. So this is a combination of the newest version of the Canna Dream mod and the Coast to Coast, or C to C mod. And basically what it does is supposedly gives you access to, like, the whole U.S., and I, I am extremely, extremely excited to start this. I haven't played it at all yet, so I'm gonna try and start in, I'm gonna try and just start in, uh, in Atlanta. I think that that'd be the coolest place to start, but you can start wherever you want. You have, like, Canadian cities. You can start in, like, in Montreal if you want. You can start in, oh gosh, like, S Saginaw? S well, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> Sudbury, like, all these different Canadian areas. But, like, you can start in Virginia if you want, like, in Norfolk. You can start in Raleigh. You can start in Fayetteville. You can start in Wilmington. I mean, you could start in Columbia. There's so many different places you can start. You start in Macon. Uh, I don't think you could start... Oh, you could start in Savannah, though. Uh, oh, we got all the way down to Miami, Florida. That's crazy. So, we're going to go ahead and select Atlanta and confirm our selection. No, I do not want to do the tutorial. Okay, this is going to be very, very interesting. I haven't tried this literally at all. Uh, let's see. Atlanta to Macon. It's a clothing delivery? Alright, now, I'm not expecting the maps to be, you know, the same kind of quality as the rest of the game, but I'm very curious to see if they actually did, you know, uh, do a decent job of replicating replicating the game itself oh dear all right well it appears that we so it recognizes my controller it recognizes my controller but now i've had i've had these little issues before and as long as we're 100 percent good to go yep all right so second camera view so we're here in atlanta currently and we're about to go ahead and head out with a shipment of clothing so let's get the truck started up Get into first gear and pull away. So let me go ahead and get back into first person cam and being very careful on my way out here. Am I going to hit that other trailer? Uh. E oh, yes, I am. I am going to hit the other trailer. I have a lot more room than I thought. Actually, quite a bit more room than I thought. All right, then, uh, let's go ahead and try to get a lot closer to the fence. Because, see, in the cab, it looks like, like, it looks like I'm going to, like, crash into the fence. It really does. But we're definitely, definitely going to miss that other trailer now, so we'll be fine. Totally fine. Okay, so, uh, we're going to have, we're going to, oh, God, we're going to have to make this an interesting turn. I feel like it would have been better if we went right out of the, uh, out of the little, the depot area instead of going left. I mean, we can make it. It'll just be tight. This trailer's so light compared to a lot of, a lot of the things I've recently called. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously, one of the lightest things I think I've ever, uh, hauled. Because I don't really haul the loads like this very often. I mostly do, like, the heavy haul stuff. That was really close to a wreck. But, uh, we'll go ahead and get just kind of like, just kind of like move along past that. And actually though, you know what I want to do? I do want to pull my truck over and I want to do a couple things with, well, let's see, let's, first of all, let's see what Atlanta looks like. And I'm, I'm curious about this because I've never, um, I've never actually checked out, like I've never actually checked out any, any mods, like for anything besides like West Coast. This is the first time I've been on the East Coast in this game, which is, Interesting because oh hey the realistic traffic mod is Not in it. Well, wait a minute. I didn't think I enabled it. I Was pretty sure I didn't have it enabled. That's weird. So anyways setting off yet again And it's actually like everything actually looks fairly nice I mean, it's better. It's better quality than I than I originally thought it would be it's not necessarily like perfect perfect It's not like we're not dealing with like 4k graphics here or anything like that but we are dealing with graphics that look very, very, very nice, and especially for a mod, and considering the fact that they've done the whole US pretty much, 
or as uh, like near as makes no difference the U the whole U.S. I highly, highly respect what they've done here because I think it's just, especially with a combination of these two mods, I highly, highly respect what they've done uh, overall. I think it's I think it's absolutely incredible. Let him turn, and then we go. I'm actually kind of... I'm, I'm surprised we got that green light. Normally, the game doesn't let you get green lights like that. Now, what are we about to get on? Like, what would it be? It would be... If we were going to Macon, it would be... Oh, God. My... Like, Atlanta people are going to know this in the comments, but, like, I think... Oh, it says 75. I was about to say 75. I was like, I think 75? But, yeah, it, it is 75, so they've actually done, you know, the real signs and everything. That's so cool. That is so awesome. How much room do we have here to merge? Decent bit? They're letting us in. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they let us in. We're good. So now we're just going to go ahead and roll. Yeah, go and roll down 85. Now, I recognize, like, I've, I've, I think I've recognized multiple things already, but it's like, I, they're not identical enough to the real thing that I'm, I'm like, I, I'm like, am I sure, or am I not sure? The funny thing is, once you get out of Atlanta, it's like, it's actually kind of funny because it's sort of realistic in the fact that once you get out of Atlanta, it's just like, it's just grass. It's like, once you get out, well, going south anyway. Once you get out of Atlanta going north, you hit mountains. But once you get out of Atlanta going south, like, dude, you just hit grass. Like, it literally does look like what we're driving through right now. Like, 75 does actually look like this. And it's, I mean, it's pretty spot on. It's pretty spot on. I have to give it to them. They've really done an awesome job. And I think overall, in terms of, like, ATS... The, uh, like, the scale of going from Atlanta to Macon. I mean, it's not really, I think, you know, for truckers and stuff like that, that's a really, really short trip. And I think that, like, in the game, it's just one in-game hour, which is extremely short. But what I do want to do later on in this series, too, is, like, apart from doing jobs, I do want to use the console commands to go ahead and fast travel around the uh, around the area because I presume it should, it, it should all work. I want to show you guys the East Coast. I want to show you guys Canada. I wanted to show you guys... Um, like the beaches of like of Florida. I want to show you guys the Midwest. There's so much stuff going on with this that like It's pretty freaking cool. It is pretty freaking cool And I think that uh, I think there's a lot of fun to be had here and it really just expands the game so much It opens it up so much. I mean like if you uh, If you haven't tried this mod and you're getting kind of like, you know tired of the same areas over and over Dude, you've got to try these mods out now, another thing is, it's so cool to see places you know on the signs. You know what I mean? Oh, God, we got to take the exit for Macon. Whoops. It's like, exit now for Macon. I was headed for Valdosta. That's the wrong direction. That's Florida. That's like, you heading to Florida, mate? <laughs> Back down to, like, 12. Got to pull this hill just a little bit. I should be in the right lane. Or not gonna let me in yes he saw my turn signal and he's gonna let me in okay cool thank you now I can be in the actual slow lane for slow trucks and they can pass me it's like I mean I know sometimes it sucks to have to take the slow lane but it's like I'm in a freaking huge semi truck it's like you're gonna have to take the slow lane sometimes plus this is like a new this is a new save it's a base uh, new save uh oh that sign blank that's yeah, not good fairly dense like forests on the side of the highway like this is also this is also quite realistic i mean it does it does actually look like this on certain stretches of 75 i love how this is dude i love how this looks all right where is my there it is there's my drop off point perfect That's a big speed bump. Oh my god, that's big. Holy crap, that actually, like... We had one of the front tires off the ground. That's crazy. Uh, let's just do the middle option. Confirm. 
and drive it to the predetermined unloading area. Which, where is that at? In the back, I wanna say. It should be in the back. I see it on the map. I don't actually see it, see it yet. Oh wait, I saw the corner of it. Yeah, okay, so we just gotta pull the truck right in. Here we are. Which we're not lined up properly. <laughs> just gotta fix our trailer alignment and then we'll be good. I'll tell you what I don't want to do is I don't want to like get into a situation where I have to let's see what is it shift shift back up okay if I press a if I press a it will automatically skip the parking I just really like that controller orientation and I don't really want to switch it up a whole bunch so yep perfect and that is a delivery for you that is perfect like excellent rating no damage, no issues. Like, I'd say we did a pretty dang good job with that. Making to Orlando. Uh, Atlanta to Orlando. This is... Oh, making to Fayetteville. That would be an interesting one. I kind of want to see what roads we have going that direction. Atlanta to Pensacola. Uh, package food to Jacksonville. Orlando, Wilmington, Columbia. That one's going to be pretty short if we do that one. Mm, make it to Augusta. Oh, that's going to be super short. Um, ooh, this will be... That's an interesting one. Atlanta to Nashville. All right, let's get going. We've got a small... like We've got a day cab truck for this one. It's been so long since I've, like, used trucks that weren't my own truck. You know what I mean? It's weird. Try and just pull out of here all in first person, which honestly is not that hard. Okay, yeah, that's... That's an easy one. Good, and we're good. Okay, good. Stay... Oh. Oh, God. I... This truck must have a different gearbox. Yeah, this is a 10-speed. Okay, never mind. This isn't going to drive like that 18-speed in that other truck. Yeah, this is this is a 10-speed, and it's going to drive a little weird compared to the 18-speed anyway. Some people prefer the 10-speed, though, which, like, I can understand if you prefer it. I just prefer the 18-speed. I feel like I have a little bit more control. It is kind of weird though because in the 18 speed with a lightweight trailer I'm you or a lighter weight trailer I'm used to double shifting a lot and in the 10 speed you don't want to do that like in the 10 speed most of the time you do not want to be double shifting because if you double shift the 10 speed it's just gonna like it's gonna bog out on you especially if you're going up a hill got room to merge yeah we should should easily have room to merge heading north or well ish north ish Get up to 9th, and then once I get it up to 10th, I'm just going to leave it there and let it cruise. Oh, we got a big pavement change. Not sure what was up with that texture. Um, it's a little bit weird, and it I feel like it just... I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things that just kind of happens. Sometimes we should probably be over on the right if we're getting passed by buses. Like, if we're getting undertaken by buses, we need to be over here and not in the middle of the road. What are we revving at? Like 1510th gear? Well, now we're passing the bus, so I'm not even sure. Curious as to how long we can maintain this pace for, because it's a pretty good pace we're maintaining. Like, a genuinely a pretty good pace. What's the speed limit? Of? Oh, 70. Okay, so let's get the truck up to 70 and then just keep it there. Let's just cruise. What's up, fellow day cab? <laughs> got shipping containers right here um honestly i don't think this truck will do much more than 70 uh it's it's 
it doesn't have it doesn't have the most powerful engine and it certainly doesn't have the craziest gearbox so i i think like with foot to the floor i think 70 i think 70 may be what we're uh 70 may be what we're gonna be at for a while as uh, like unless we uh we have some downhills which like some long downhills which i think even with that with the gearing we may get up to like 75 and that might be about it for us honestly like that might be about all we get up to uh which is not brilliant to be fair but it's a little bit better than you know it oh here we go yeah 73 74 75 76 and now we can go back to cruising as we were oh that was that was fun need to stick with okay so we're about half a tank on fuel about half a tank so i think we should i mean i know we're gonna get there fine um we maybe should refill when we get there because if we refill when we get there then we can just head wherever we want well actually no i just realized i keep thinking about this like it's my own like in-game truck and i've been playing it that way for so long that doing like uh, I, I guess like just jobs for different companies where they provide a truck is just so different for me and I'm not used to just switching trucks all the time. It's kind of cool though because it, it forces you to adapt to different kinds of trucks, different kinds of transmissions, different kinds of, of engines, and kind of makes you a lot more adaptable as a driver, frankly. Still looking at these rolling hills. Curious as to see what the in-game version of Nashville is going to look like. That'll be interesting to see. 45 in-game minutes to go, which is, like, not very long at all. So, actually, very, very soon we should see we should see an exit, or we should start seeing signs. Yep. We should start seeing signs for something. Well, Nashville. <laughs> we should start seeing signs for our destination. That's that's what I wanted to say. That's what I was trying to get out, and it, 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 just, it just wasn't coming out. I'm not sure why. It just wasn't coming out. I see the drop-off point. This is risky, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> All right. Yep, I see our exit. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, let me get around to the left of you. 91 miles an hour. Holy crap. That's a lot of miles an hour for a truck like this. Quite a bit of speed. I'm coming in hot after this Escalade. All the way over, because I know we're going to be turning left. What the? Okay, did he try to come over, all the way over on me? Boy! Oh, crap. Uh, no. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to have to do? Ugh, this is going to be fun. Oh, God, I did not mean to... Holy crap, I did not mean to blow my engine. I would have just blown my transmission and my engine. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to do something really dumb and really sketchy. We're going to go down the off-ramp. Luckily, they stopped for me. Luckily, they were like, Holy hell, this dude is a maniac. And we're going to stop for him. So after a little bit of unorthodox lane management, we managed to get to Nashville. Is that like, just like the bottom of a pit? It's weird. Alright, cool! So, oh, we got service right there too. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And it's like, yes, I, I'm, I'm sure the speed limit is 30. Uh, oh, you, you have discovered a recruitment agency. It's like, I'm sure the speed limit is 30. I'm also sure that I'm not going to go 30. So, it's, I love how it's 60. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, about that. About that, officer. <laughs> Oh wow, stopped way too quick. 
that's the other thing too, is like some of these trucks, like I'm still not used to how insanely touchy the brakes are. They, they are so touchy. All right, we're going left. And our drop-off point should be right up here, boys. Not this one, but the next one. You have still, uh, I think, sell goods. I think that one is the one we want to go to. Pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like, oh god. Wrong place. Stay out of the way of that dodge, because he will run into you. Slowly creeping up, and we're going to go ahead and make a left and get right over into this parking lot real quick, watching my mirrors, specifically. And we're here! Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and have... We'll do the quick parking, and uh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I, I, I think we, uh, we did fairly well with that. So, let's see what we have. Oh, let's, uh, let's see. Long distance. Uh, let's see. High value cargo. Fragile cargo. Just in time. Uh, let's do fragile cargo. That'll work. And we're gonna go ahead and apply it. So, Let's go ahead and go look at the job market again real quick. We're not going to take any more jobs in this episode, but I want to see what else has come up. Cheese, vegetables, dry milk, rice, furniture. Let's see. Pressure tank, home accessories, large tubes. So that's, I get, that's, I feel like that would be something that would be covered under the fragile material. Well, maybe, maybe not, but maybe we'll see. So hope you guys did enjoy this, this video and this also this first episode uh, of this little, um, mod for not well not really little massive mod for american truck simulator and if you did don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you all next time talk to you guys later make sure you come back later for more